the CBS3 Duluth WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. All right, let's talk about today's high temperatures. I had high hopes we would crack 80, at least for the southern part of our region. Didn't quite get that warm. Let's go into the map here and take a closer look. 77 in Hinkley and Siren, uh, that's not so far off the mark. 75 Hayward and for Park Point and Ashland, you know, that's definitely warmer than normal by almost 10 degrees. But up north, like I thought International Falls would hit 70, three degrees shy there. Cold front coming across tonight is going to take temperatures down, so it was slated to only be a one-day warm-up. And with the cold front coming, that's exactly what it's going to be. And it'll actually get cooler than normal for a couple of days uh, down into the 50s. We'll talk about the timeline in just a little bit. But right now, here are the current conditions at the airport in Duluth. 71 degrees, 63% for the relative humidity with a westerly wind running 16 miles per hour. Air pressure is coming down a little bit because of a trough of low pressure working by 29.89 inches of mercury, but it hasn't done much in the way of precipitation, just helping to thicken up the clouds a little bit, uh, aided and abetted by all the particulate matter from the western wildfires acting as condensation nuclei for the clouds. But now let's talk about the surface. 73 degrees, current temperature in waters meet, 72 Ironwood, 75 Hayward, not too bad, 74 Ashland, and 73s from Solon Springs into Superior, Park Point's there now as well, 72 Moose Lake, and even up towards Silver Bay, so at least a slice of this warmer weather tried to work up the North Shore, but into the Arrowhead, the interior, only 63, Ely, 65 International Falls, 67 for Hibbing. Tomorrow, if we make it towards 65, we'll be doing pretty well as that cold front Takes temperatures down towards the 60s for a lot of towns tomorrow, even the 50s up north. And then the 50s will follow suit for the rest of us for at least the rest of the week until the weekend. Doppler map right now shows that trough of lower pressure creating clouds, again, aided and abetted by the haze that's out there. Higher pressure coming in behind the cold front. That's probably going to help clear us up towards partly cloudy and mostly sunny tomorrow. But first, let's take a quick look down towards the tropics. Sally is now a Category 1 hurricane, losing a bit of a punch, but also slowing down. So keeping that punch going a while longer. The end result will be probably more moisture than folks down there can handle. Our fingers are crossed for them. We need moisture. This low did not deliver really just a couple sprinkles last night. And now cooler, higher pressure is taking over behind that cold front to take our temperatures down and keep us dry for a while. Our next rain chance here may not come until Sunday, and it doesn't look like a great chance either. Tonight, we're looking at a partly cloudy sky in Minnesota with lows into the mid-40s inland, mid-50s right by the lake. For Wisconsin and Michigan, about 50 to 53 degrees for the low temps there. And now we ease into tomorrow's forecast, about 60 to 66 degrees for Wisconsin and the UP with that partly cloudy sky. So 77 of today becomes the 66 of tomorrow and perhaps only the 58 in Minnesota tomorrow. 50s inland, um, southern parts, maybe as warm as 64 towards Moose Lake. Extended forecast shows we drop into the 50s for Thursday and Friday with low temps in the 30s. That means frost will rear its ugly anti-gardening head once again for a pair of days. But then we do start to moderate again. Tony, we may not be done with the 70s because they could be with us by next Monday. Okay. In between, there's that next rain chance, Sunday mm -hmm. and Monday, 30 to 40 percent shots. Next Tuesday, 74 degrees. Not too shabby. No, not shabby at all. I know we didn't quite hit the 80s that we were talking about today, but... Hey, close to 70, 75 around the region. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, exactly. And even 77 is not so bad yeah, at all. Not so bad. Thanks, Dave.